It had been quiet on the subway. What a nice surprise. Of course, I don't comprehend the silence until now, after already exiting the J train. I'm approaching Times Square, swimming vigorously against the stream of people and the spill of electric light. Everything seems caffeinated. Somehow, though, all this noise is unable to wake the dead. Heads tilt downward, faces lost in glowing screens, technology turning people into zombies. The lights ripple in the high noon heat, bending and flickering and dancing all around me. A rainbow of neon that rivals the sun and the cerebral sky overhead. It's a New York sunburned summer, 101 degrees with humidity, which I guess is kind of like spring here. <laughs> 150 degrees with humidity. The air waterlogged and dense. It's Saturday, a week before my 29th birthday. My world is clearer as of late. The last six months have been spent simplifying, paring down. It's a slow process. By now, I've abandoned a shed load of material possessions. Maybe 90% of my belongings. Maybe more. At first, I started small. I asked myself, what if you removed one material possession from your life? Just one each day for a month, what would happen? The result, I unloaded way more than 30 items in the first 30 days, like way, way more. It became a kind of personal challenge, discovering what I could get rid of, what I could get out of my way, how many unneeded things I could remove from my hoard. So I searched my rooms and closets, cabinets and hallways, car and office, rummaging for items to part with. Pondering each artifact in my apartment, I'd ask one simple question. Does this thing add value to my life? So I'm gonna close it out by, by saying this. I don't know where you are in life or where you are in your journey or wherever you're going, but I'm, Ryan and I, and I know Joshua too, we're just really grateful that you're here with us tonight. So if you were to get one takeaway, one thing to take away from this would be this. Love people and use things because the opposite never works. Thank you for coming out.